2020, demand is red hot for cold storage as food delivery services like Amazon Fresh and Peapod continue to surge. Diana Olix got the details. Diana. Melissa, well, keep up with the new explosive demand from online grocery buying and direct-to-consumer pharmaceuticals. The U.S. needs up to 100 million more square feet of cold storage warehouse space. That's according to CBRE. That's roughly 6,100 new warehouses like this one being developed by Scout Capital outside Philadelphia. New cold storage needs to be much closer into cities because we all need everything right now. While demand from restaurants has fallen off sharply, demand from supermarkets from online orders is way up. And the average age of a cold storage warehouse is 34 years old. So the whole sector needs an upgrade with more automation. Given what's happened with COVID, you know, we've undergone five to 10 years of change in only a matter of, you know, three to four months. And so it is for sure accelerating the, or will has accelerated the pace of change um, for cold storage. Now there is just one dedicated cold storage reach, that's AmeriCold, but other big storage companies like Prologis do have the ability for tenants to do a box within a box, that's cold storage in a regular warehouse. Demand lists are really going off the charts now. I can't even imagine. Diana, thank you, Diana Olick. I mean, we are just talking about Walmart offering more services, delivery services. Uh, Karen, can you see investing in this?